In this episode of Minute Garage Band, we're going to discuss the benefits of duplicating a track. Duplicating a track is very straightforward. There really aren't any secret tricks to learn in order to do it. Simply use the Duplicate Track menu item. What does seem to get lost in many people is the usefulness of duplicating a track since it doesn't also recreate the recorded regions held within it. What you get by duplicating a track is another track that has the exact same properties as the original one. In other words, if you've picked out a particular icon, or perhaps tweaked a series of effects for one track, and you'd like those same settings on another one, duplicating the original track will achieve this in a single step. The other choice would be to save an instrument, create a new track, and then assign that instrument to the newly created track. Additionally, and possibly as a cautionary note, since by default automation curves belong to the track rather than the region they affect, the duplicated track will contain the same effect automation curves as the original track if any were set. This is important to remember because if you're not going to have the exact same recorded material and in the exact same time, then you'll likely find that you need to adjust or delete any automation curves from the copy. That's all we have for this episode. We hope you found it useful. And for more, subscribe to our YouTube channel for new Minute Garage Band videos each and every week. So long. Oh, then I'll tell it again, really slowly. <laughs> <laughs>